Welcome to Setting Goals for Success. This is our goal setting workshop for 2020, where we're going to get through identifying and also creating action plans for the goals that we set. All right, so here's an overview of the steps that we're gonna go through today. We're gonna go and define what your emotional temperature is for particular goal sets. I'm gonna talk about what that means. We're going to set the intention for the goals that you set. We're gonna look at what are the outcome and processes, what blockers and constraints that you may have that prevents you from successfully completing those so that we know what they are, so that we can remove those blockers and constraints. We're gonna identify what do you need in order to help facilitate the uh, implementation or the achievement of your goal. Then we're gonna talk about how to create action plans and then we're gonna get those goals on your schedule so that there's no reason that you don't finish them. I always like to think about the fact that people think, okay, well, all I need to do with the goal is I just need to set it and magically it's gonna happen. And that is the furthest thing from the truth. So that's the reason why we have these sort of seven steps to get through uh, your goal setting. All right, so you guys already know what this is and I'm gonna go over it. What is the goal? It's an observable and measurable end result, right? So it's not just something that you say, you know, I wanna lose weight, right? It's I wanna lose weight, I wanna lose, you know, 50 pounds by June, right? Um, that you intend to achieve or accomplish that also includes some sort of time frame. So a goal without a time frame is just like just wishing for it. A goal that's not measurable is not tangible. So you wanna make sure that your goals have these characteristics about them. So we're gonna talk about how to make sure that that happens. Why do you need goals? Well, of course, it helps you focus. Um, it allows you to identify what resources you need and that resources could be in the form of money or people. It allows you to manage your time. It allows you to make quick decisions, right? If I am going to be losing weight, 50 pounds, right? Then me, I'm eating this Sunday, <laughs> my name is Sunday, eating a Sunday, right? Eating a Sunday, there's a clear decision. I shouldn't do that, right? Because it's against my goal and it's against the ob objective that I'm doing, right? It allows you to track, right? If I'm gonna lose 50 pounds, I can track my progress. It allows you to also be creative, right? So if you know exactly what it is that you are set out to do, your mind is able to focus on those and create creative, solutions or ideas around whatever it is that you have set. And then it also is great for communication, right? So when your girlfriends are asking you to go out to brunch every Sunday for the rest of the year, you could say, no girl, unless we're going to some vegan health place, I can't go because I'm trying to lose weight, right? So communication becomes easier when it's very clear about what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And that's communication not only to your friends, but to the people that you work with, also to yourself, right? It just helps you be very clear about what it is that you have to do, how you work your time, what you need to decide on, and all of the items that we've just gone over. 